Now we're going to clean up the single player game to make it multiplayer compliant. So I'm going to get rid of this bar right here, which is the health bar, because I'm going to put it on top of the character. Okay, so this is inside of the canvas. So if you click on canvas, you will see a health text. So we don't need the health text. I'm just going to delete it, right click, delete. And then I'm going to click also delete the game over panel because the logic for the game over is totally different because we can make the characters respond multiple times. So we don't need that game over. I'm going to delete it. And then the text score. We don't need the score neither right now. Um, we can add a score later on, which would be the number of times you killed the other character. So it's not going to be real score. It's going to be um, uh, player kills. Okay, so I'm just going to delete it for now. And the health slider, which is this one right here. Again, we don't need that. I'm just going to delete it. All right. So having done so, this is going to create uh, lots of errors. For example, if I locate the uh, main character, which is the Iron Man character, it has references to all of this. So I need to get rid of all these references. Now, I know this is not fun, but this is all the pre-requirements to turn a single player game into a multiplayer game. If you look in the hierarchy, you will see the Iron Man prefab right there. And this Iron Man prefab is the main character. What I want you to do here is basically work on it so that we get rid of all the references that we have to the UI items that we removed. Now, if you look in the inspector, you will see um, a bunch of scripts. And let's look at them. Here, the Iron Man behavior script. As you can see, it has a reference to the score text and it says missing. Why? Because we just removed it. So it cannot find it. So we got to fix this, right? Same thing for the game over panel. So let's go ahead and fix that. How? Just double click on the script and locate the word text. And we're going to remove that. Okay. So double click on it. This will open inside of MonoDevelop or Visual Studio, depending on which environment you are using. And here you can see the game over panel. So what I'm going to do is start removing it and um, it's going to probably give me some error messages and I'm going to have to fix them. So I'm going to look for it, command F or control F and type game over panel. And I see that it's at multiple places. So I'm going to get rid of this one, get rid of this one. Same thing for the score. We don't need the score anymore. I'm going to get rid of it. And I'm going to get rid of also the score here. Now, everything that appears in red is usually because it doesn't work anymore. And the score text here as well. We don't need it anymore. I'm going to get rid of it. I keep going and look at what I need to remove. And um, right here, I see inside of the display game over. Same thing. I'm going to remove it. All right. Game over is equal to true. We don't need the game over tag anymore. So and the game over clip, we don't need that again. So I'm going to remove them. All right. And uh, the ads, I don't need to display the ads for now. I'm just going to comment this out. All right. Now, moving back up, um, I see that we have a, some game over here. So I'm going to get rid of this game over as well. Audio clip game over, remove. And then again, I'm going to look for more game overs to remove. I, I see that if game over, invoke game over. I don't need that again. Remove. And um, and what I can do now is actually save this, command S, and then go back to Unity. Why? Because I'm going to go to the console, and this is going to tell me everything that goes wrong right now. And I can see that it's telling me that the score does not exist there. So I'm going to double click, and that's going to bring me exactly to the line that it, that it is. So as you can see, the score doesn't work. So guess what? I'm just going to remove it, save it, and go back to Unity. Now we're going to see what's the next error. OK, well, so far, no more errors. That's good. All right. Um, so let's keep going. That's it for the Iron Man behavior script. Now let's look at the health text. As you can see in the player health here, you can see that it has a health text. And we do not have the health uh, slider anymore. So let's go ahead and open the player health and get rid of this. So inside of the player health, I'm going to remove the slider and the text. OK, delete. And now, again, this is going to be missing. I'm just going to remove it. And I'm going to remove that as well. We don't need this anymore. And let's see, is that it? I'm going to save now and see what's going to happen. Command S, going back to Unity. And let's see. All right, it seems to be OK. Now I have some warnings. The warnings 
are because some variables are created but never used. So I'm going to get rid of them. The audio source audio, it's never used. I can just remove it. All right, save, go back. And I see that the enemy, oh, so I have more errors. I need to go back. Audio, so let's see. I don't need this. Um, let's go back. As you can see, the audio play one shot, all of these does not work anymore. So I'm just going to get rid of them by selecting them all and click on remove. All right. And I probably don't need the laser sounds anymore for now. So I'm just going to remove the laser sounds. And what I'm going to do is uh, make it shoot fireballs. So it's not going to be a laser because we want fireballs, um, which is like uh, shooting bullets. All right. Now there's an audio here. I'm going to get rid of the audio as well. Now I know it's kind of a pain to do all of that, but this is a required process to be able to switch from single to, um, uh, to multiplayer. All right, I'm going to save and go back and let's see what's going to happen. Okay, that's a lot better. EnemyHell.audio also. I'm going to go there and get rid of the audio here as well. And Command F and I'm going to look for audio. Now I have some audio clips. Let's see. Okay. Play one shot, score up. Actually, I'm going to put back the audio because I see that it's used anyway. So I'm going to press Command Z to put back the audio source. All right. Okay. So it says uh, that I have other errors like player script here has a value that's assigned but it's never used. So I'm going to get rid of it. I don't need this anymore. All right. Next. The honk already honked is not used, so I'm going to click there and remove it. All right, so already honked, delete and save. Okay, and we're getting there, we're almost there. The variable is assigned but it's never used again, so again, double click and get rid of it. All right, saving and going back, let's see. All right, so here now it's complaining that it's using the, uh, the word audio and the word audio is um, is a keyword that's um, that's already used by uh, the by the framework. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to double click and change the audio to audio s for like audio source. All right. So I'm going to look for audio s everywhere and replace it. So audio to audio s. All right. Audio s. Audio s. Audio s. Feels weird saying that, right? <laughs> I'm going to save this and now let's go back. And this is gone, but I have another error. Property or indexer. Okay, it's going to be audio S as well. Save. All right. Let's go back now. Let's see. All right. All the errors are gone. And if you look inside of the uh, of the player health, I do not have the variables anymore. We just deleted them. That's great. Okay. So, you know, you can keep going and you see that uh, now we've, we've cleaned up the Iron Man. That's great. And now press play and see what happens. You shouldn't have any errors when you press play. Okay, so as you can see, I'm able to move the main character, no problem. I'm able to click and kill the enemies. Okay, excellent. So, so far so good. And, um, and I don't have the health or the score, but it's working. So we're on the, on the right track to create the multiplayer logic. See you guys in the next lecture.